Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Tonight I am joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. <laughs> Hello. Logan from Snake Rat. So, And Blake from Blako's Face. Snake Rat's not a real thing. No, it isn't. As far as Twitch is concerned, it is a name and that is it. <laughs> Make us some content and then... Actually, yeah, from now on, I'm going to call you Logan until you start making some goddamn content. Yeah. That was content last week. What? On YouTube. Yeah. Actually? Yeah. I never noticed. Was it a plea for subs? Yeah. <laughs> was it a plea for help? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to just brag again. Got to put in a yeah. video on my... <laughs> All right, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? I'll start with you, Blake. Not much going on? Sad. Sad? Sad. Why so sad? Uh, <laughs> very quick timeline. Master Duel ban list. Uh huh. Yeah, Prosp Limited. Okay, fine. That's fine. I log in. I play three games. I lose three games. <laughs> it's just terrible. Just, just, I log out. That was on day what? It was like Wednesday. I forget which day it was. Thursday. I log in. I lose four games. <laughs> <laughs> I, I log out. So a hit to consistency so, has really done you that good. I, I, I didn't think so. Friday, I log in. I win, I counted, 13 <coughs> games in a row. Damn. It was because I opened heavy traps. It was, in looking <laughs> back at the games, it was just, oh fuck, I didn't get, uh, that was the problem. Didn't skip enough turns. Uh, I'm building new, de- I'm, I'm testing out ABC. Yeah, good man. Uh, yeah, I, we've got this on It's a brain dead deck. Uh, it's really funny to do at the combo store. It's, uh, but other than that, uh, I, put together like you know you can put the cards you don't actually own into the thing whatever yeah. I put together like Mystic Mind Burn just because I went let me see if in like sorry in Dueling Book Stop I, to the oh. um, I, I should be more specific about what I'm doing so I switched after that after the big win streak I switched to Dueling Book and I was like is it called Dueling that what's it called Dueling Book. Dueling Book there we go testing with your friends after, testing yeah. with your friends <laughs> testing with your friends I um, say Arthur's room <laughs> we'll get into that I build Mystic Mind Bird, and I go, can I handle the taste in my mouth of playing this enough that I could attend a Yu-Gi-Oh! Locals with it, because I'm that guy. I don't think I'm Tom level, but I'm like right here. Uh, I played three games, uh, I played two cards in almost all of them, uh, and they scooped and left. Uh, so no, I have not tested that deck, I don't know how good it is, and that was my week. I mean, recent YCS results would show that it's pretty good. Yeah, I just... It's funny because I like actually thought I was like, oh, I should see how this deck works. Like, I need to at some point think about how that deck works in any facet or read any of the cards. I, I don't. You just put on the hat. You put on the hat and you go... It, it's so good owning that hat. It is. Like, I wish I had mine on right now. You should have bought your hat. I should have brought my hat. Uh, my week. Um, so, played <coughs> Saturday uh, at our new locals. Uh, did fairly Is it terribly. ours? Yeah. I mean, ours. <laughs> anyway, uh, did fairly terribly. Um, Andrew won the half box and pulled uh, two secrets, three ultras, and a star. Fucking crap. Did you not man. see this? No. His half box was double secret, star light, three ultras. Right, how could he see it? He doesn't show up to his own store. <laughs> yeah. What, was I, what the fuck was I doing last Saturday? You were with Loz. You? Yeah. Yeah, you and Loz messaged us saying like, haha. Oh, yeah, because I won the I won the winner box for Digimon and then fucked off. Yeah. Um, After campaigning for us to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's, listen, my job is not to play Yu-Gi-Oh. My job is to campaign for you guys to play Yu-Gi-Oh. That's it. Um, no, what's your Starlight job is to play Yu-Gi-Oh. All right. I'm going to show up playing Mystic Mind. Um, what's that like, did he pull? <laughs> uh, the um, tributy hand trappy thing. Sure. I can't remember what it's called. Cool. Woman. Cool. Uh, secrets? Uh, another one of those. And uh, what was the other secret? I want to say the field spell. It was Ultimate Slay. Slay. Ultimate Slay. Nice. That's a, really yeah, good that's, a, that's a good $20 entry, bro. Oh, for $20, that, he made mega That's value. a lit entry. All right, fair. Never buying another pack of power the elements from that store. Yeah, that's fair. Oh yeah, I'm not buying anything from there for a long time. Why is this side of the map so much brighter? Brighter than it's this meant side. to be player one and player two, so it's different contrasts. I feel like Ben's 
talking out of his ass. I no, no, I'm legitimately not. It's meant to be play one and play two. That's why they're different shades. I hate that. Yeah, I don't like that either. That's very Konami. Yeah. I'll believe you this time. This is literally the way it's always been. This was there on the day we got it. I reckon there's a printing error and then they use that as justification. <laughs> I don't remember that. Because the whole way you go across the map, it gets more blue. Um, I can, I can anywho, uh, yeah, and then <clears throat> Sunday was meant to happen, didn't. No one showed up. It was just me, Jesse, and Harry. Uh, so me and Jesse played a couple of friendlies. Uh, I beat him in all of them. Every single one. He was like, yeah, I put together, um, uh, what was it, like, um, Punk uh, PK. And you said, cool, don't care. All it did was, like, standard PK things plus a Baron. That, that does sound like a punk deck. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I've got uh, effectively one negate to bait out in a format that is very heavy on Dark Ruler no more. Cool. Looking forward to it. Um, and it's that game pretty much and a couple of the others that has still led me to play the Chimera line in my deck, even though it is not good. Generally not a bad shot PK it, in a Dark Ruler format. Because it sets up like a bunch of trap negates. It, two. Two yeah. at absolute most. That's two more than every deck. Sure, but still not good. Right, no, you're right. It's not good. But it's like like you go through a ridiculous yeah. amount of cards in just, this format to set up two back row. It just loses to Mystic Mind. So, like, that's I everything, bad. everything at the moment we? is effectively losing to Mystic Mind. No, it's Bracket Me. Mystic Mind has a Toad and a Smash. Oh, no, it's this. this. But anyway. That, that is this um, one. Yeah. And then tonight, uh, when X1 uh, lost to Birds, uh, Tier Element has a terrible matchup against Birds. Mm. Absolutely terrible. But you just get over the barriers on Defense! No, it's not even that. I can't get to the monsters. Just play a wind. Fucking D-shift... What wind? Uh, you, uh, what ear elements? Uh... <laughs> what, do you not play that support? You play the black wing package. They're not winds. The darks, bro. Are they not birds? And you play Super Poly. They are birds, but they're dark. Why are they dark birds? That's so weird. Super Poly, not the mm. arm. Can't you Super Poly for Guru? Yeah, you Super Poly for Guru. It's also a dark. I thought it was wind. No. Oh. Oh. If it were just a question right, of so Super what we've poly, established, is, super poly what we've early. established is everything we think of wins are darks. You're like, oh, just do this. Oh, no, you, you can't super do poly that. Before oh, they what about this? Uh, play... They're all different attributes. I learned this tonight. The fucking bird, the little birds are different attributes. Let's play Book of Moon. Of course! <laughs> Book of Moon! Ah, uh, Book of Eclipse. Dark Ruler no more. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't open it. Forbidden Drop. If I'd opened that, it'd be fine. But Just open the app, bro. Yeah. And it's the fact that he opened D Shifted um, in both games 1 Cut. and 3. Actually, no, <laughs> I take that back. He opened D Shifter in game 3, but I had the call by, so I didn't give a fuck. But also, well, my hand did thing. nothing. Yeah. Man, it was the just nothing. Punished. Yeah, I opened every other one of that did nothing. Yeah, and the one of Polly, like, yeah, yeah well, the hand was just garbage. Ones, really. It was just garbage. Um, but yeah, then beat my other two matchups of Dino, um, Dino Fusion of something or other, and um, a Tier Element Mirror match. Fine. Usually those are really complicated, but um, they didn't open particularly well, so it became a lot easier. Um, Effect Wait. Veiler basically ended both of her turns. Where was the last turn? Virtual World. Hmm? Is it virtual world? No. What's I coming? said tier element mirror. Oh gross. <laughs> In my head. We've seen oh, a lot real. Of, we've seen a lot of tier element mirrors over the last couple of days. Yeah, about that. Um getting into these gentlemen this week. Yeah, so I guess I'll start. I have no voice. It was a long weekend and I spent an entire night yelling at the three people I stayed with. So I have no voice. So bear with me for this. Um yeah. I'll start with, yeah, I'll start with tonight. I already addressed that. Um, I won locals tonight. I played uh, John Lowbridge's list from WCQ. Uh, list is just really good. Uh, Rock the hat. Mystic Mind won me matches. Um, yeah, it's a, it's effectively adventure sprite where you play six field spells and everywhere to access them, and you just toolbox toolbox your field spells whenever you need them. Um, really good. Um, at one point against Jesse. It didn't come up because I thought he was playing two elements. Turns out he was playing BA. Didn't <coughs> sorry, he was playing Phantom Knights. Turns out it didn't matter because he couldn't combo. Um, I you can go in this list. You can set rotation, activate. So you're playing Adventure Sprite. If you open Enchantress, set rotation. 
You set rotation, give your opponent uh, either Necro Valley or Mystic Blight, give yourself Trickstar Light Stage, uh, go full combo with the uh, regular with the other package, or with the Water Energy Entrance package, uh, flip your, uh, your field to well face up, go full combo because you've just added a level 2, then you bounce the Necro Valley back to your hand and activate it. <laughs> oh, that sounds awful. Yeah. So it's very good. You, hey. not, you not only search one field spell, you search two field spells. You but you get, have to open set rotation. Yeah. yeah. It's just a, a happy plus. If you don't open set rotation, you don't give two fox because you're playing your Avengers Prime. Not half an hour ago, I yep. was thinking, if Mystic Mind goes, set rotation could in theory come back. No. Same as no. Uh, Thingo. No, it can't, apparently. <laughs> even in like... It, it is it gets absurd. Abused. Even in like Adventure ABCs, they were doing like... You would give them the Therion Field spell after you. Oh, yeah, played. I've interacted with that. Yeah. yeah, so it's the same thing. Yeah. But this time you're getting Necrovite because it's fucked. I yeah. think, um, uh, them putting Terraform into one was them saying, you're definitely not going to accept rotation because there's heaps of examples well, where just it's better. Be just before the, um, uh, Terraforming limit, there was that Field Spell deck. <coughs> it just played every Field Spell that searched a card. It played the, um, yeah. Trickstar played Invoked, it played Subterra, yep. played, um, I think even Union Hanger in some of them. Just you, you any can, you card. You can go an Ancient Fairy Dragon and then just like clear your fields before get another one. Off you go. You just yeah. switch from one engine to the other. Oh, fair. Cool. Yeah. Like, literally a terraforming toolbox. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I'll continue. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I won Locals. Um, but that's not the real reason we're having this discussion. Uh, me and Logan went to WCQ this weekend. Part of the reason, again, I have no voice. Um, I had a total of eight hours sleep the entire weekend. And you would know that because you started watching this podcast. Oh, um, that's what I was <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, in case you guys aren't aware, the cold <laughs> open for this podcast is a montage of Logan snoring. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yes. So, uh, good. Uh, that was what I was next to <coughs> all weekend. I slept for eight hours. I make no However, apologies. The event was really good. Mm. Like, I was, like, super worried when we went to New Zealand that it was going to kind of be shit. Turns out when you move an event to New Zealand, a lot of the shitty human beings just aren't there. So It's, it's more effort to get there. Yeah, so like, like oh, every single person I interacted with from New Zealand was just a super nice dude. Um, there were times where I was like, I'm the asshole here. And I was okay with that because I activated this thing line and won. Um, so... Is there, is there a counter on this pod of how many times you point to your fucking hat? Look, we say Mystic Mine a lot in this podcast, just like at the YCS. Um, WCU, sorry. Uh, <laughs> they, they definitely weren't going to say it was a YCS winner at the end of that event, and someone at this table did not save Konami's ass. Um, Who could that be? Oh, you guys don't know that Did yet. they say... I He's do gonna, know that. Oh, you know, I was I'll, at lunch when yeah. you told oh, me. Yeah, like, I don't know, but I'll tell the story. They, okay. This is a story you can tell. There's yeah. a lot of stories you can't. Um, <laughs> okay, we can continue. Um, that he knows so, so, me, Josh, Leonardo, and Logan. I mean, we should get Leonardo on the podcast sometime. Yeah. He'd be I was going to suggest it tonight. Leonardo but... genuinely has a lot of Yu Gi Oh stories that are like super interesting. Hell yeah, that's We cool. need to get Leonardo on yeah, the podcast. Yeah, he yeah, played Yu Gi Oh in Italy. That yeah. would, there would be some really interesting stories. Man topped um, Bulgarian. Bulgarian nationals. Yeah. As you do. Yeah, so just, just casual super like super good player obviously but comes to Australia and plays uh, yeah. branded elderly <laughs> it, it was so bizarre that he's like yeah I did, I've done like all this I really enjoy playing diverse Yu-Gi-Oh when I came to locals I was playing floodgates <laughs> yay um, yeah I liked it so, I hated it so um, much three of us played Logan judged um, me, Josh and Leonardo all went X3 oh, was rough Fair. so theoretically uh, five X3s should have made top cut there were so many fucking draws. Who would have thought yeah. there was 12 draws like, in the final round? Yeah. Yeah. Who would have guessed that there was just a whole bunch of convenient draws? Oh, um, it was the X2s going... I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have no knowledge. No I, knowledge I, I was a feature. Logan doesn't want to jeopardize yeah. his name judging. Stream. No, he legitimately... <laughs> well, you're was, a feature, right? He so. wasn't there to see any of it. Yeah. Um, that was the last feature match of, of hey, Swiss. We'll discuss your your part when you get to your part. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Not at your week Shut yet. Up. Yes. So um Now you've ruined framing. Nah, he's fine. He's in frame. Um didn't matter anymore. So <laughs> we each go X three. 
Um, my event was actually pretty good. Um, round one, I lose to a pointer of the Red Lotus. The theme of my event, actually. On my three losses, two of them went to a pointer. However, I would have, in those situations, lost to any Flood Eddy side deck card, so I'm not super mad about it. Like, I would have lost to Anti Spell. Like, my whole pre like, everything I've been preaching from this weekend was that Anti Spell is better than a pointer to everyone who's playing a pointer. And from my own situation where I lost to a pointer, I am correct. If that a pointer had been anti spell instead, I would have been fully fucked instead of just being able to still play and having it back and forth. Um, round one, I played against uh, just pure punk. Uh, lose die roll. I lost seven out of my eight die rolls. Nice. Still went X3. Um, so yeah. Play against him, lose the die roll, get just hard comboed, and I'm like, that's fine. Game two, um, the way I built my deck was it's just so I played sprite. Uh, it's just sprite combo, and if you're going first, you side into a bunch of cards that just skip your opponent's turn. Again, it's cracked sprite, except yeah, it did fine. Um, I saw anti spell every time I sided it in. Oh, beautiful! So every time I chose to go first, I won. There was no back and forth I just won um yeah full sprite combo set anti-spell flip it that was our game 2 um game 3 he goes first goes full combo I'm like yep cool um I had like <coughs> not drawn magnificently but I had a dark ruler in my hand and so I had dark ruler Zeus I was like I should be fine and then the opponent gets flipped dark ruler goes bye bye too bad um I could then still play but it was a back and forth and he just out had more resources than me um, again, if it was an anti-spell, I wouldn't have had that back and forth. Uh, round two, um, I won. I played against Heroes. I played against Duke. Uh, Duke was playing oh. Heroes. Um, he just bricked. Game three. Um, Heroes, who'd have thunk it? I fucking... Yeah, they topped. Game three, I like did, did the what? dumbest no, play just... where I opened... Because I, I sided Ibly. I opened the Ib. Uh, and then just fucking brain dead me when Ibs a level 2 normal summon him oh no uh, like, <laughs> however I am playing Almirage oh yes so I linked one into Almirage oh, gave him king. it and then he couldn't crash because they both had zero yes so king he just lost um round 3 I played against um tier element no round 3 I played against uh, sprite. This is a sprite mirror. What was it? Are we only in round three? Yes. Yeah, I need to think. So, yeah, played a sprite mirror. Um, easy. He was like super confident coming in as well. And then I just cleaned the house. Uh, round four. Uh, Ter Element. Super nice dude from New Zealand. I activated Mystic Mine. And one. Arthur, you were the asshole. Yeah, one. I was the asshole. Dude was like super nice to me. And then I just, I drew my five cards. He did full combo and was like so nice about it the whole time. And I'm just sitting here like, I'm going to miss mine him and I'm going to feel so bad. Imagine that. You, like, I'm probably inserting facts that don't exist. But he's like sat down and crossed with me. He's like, oh my God, it's Ben from Nolan CG. Mm -hmm. Look, I don't want to fangirl too much. I'm not going to make a big deal about it. Yeah, but I'm going to be super fine. nice. He sets up his combo and he's like, I hope he's really happy with this board. I've like looked over his replays and stuff like that and his deck list. So I think it's pretty good. Oh, Mystic Mind. Oh, I'm doing Mystic Mind. Yeah. Oh, I'm unsubscribing immediately. No, I literally, I was about to say, what he did was go, <laughs> unsub, <laughs> dislike <Sorry>. all videos. <laughs> that, that was that matchup. Uh, round five, I played against um, one of the States winners. So the States winners all had private tables. So oh. you got paired, a high yeah, right. you got paired to their private table, so I knew I was playing well, a state. By private, he means like tables ninety six to one hundred and six. Yeah, were like where they sat the whole day. Yeah, so instead of seeing a table reserved one, seating they sat like private. table ninety six. Yeah, right. yeah, it's reserved, yeah. not private. Weird. Sure. So that's um, really wanky. Again, anyway. theme of my event: lose die roll. He goes full sprite combo. Um, I have dark ruler. Play through his board. He has dark ruler. Plays through my board. And then I just am out of resources at that point, so I lose. Uh, game two, open anti spell, flip it, he instant scoops. Um, and then game three, I get appointed. Yeah. Again, if it was an anti spell, doesn't matter. Um, however, it's at this point 
I find out that if you don't have a hand, you can't activate a pointer. Correct. So my round one opponent couldn't use a pointer. Uh, another reason anti-spell is the better card. I've always found that anti-spell, like if you're comparing those two directly, yep. that anti-spell is the better one. Yep. Because a pointer costs you 2k, so if you're anywhere close to time, yes. you're terrified of activating it. Yep. Two, you give your opponent just as much knowledge as what you're yes. getting. And then three, they get their resource back at the end of the turn. You don't get those life yep. points back. Yeah, yeah. And this, this comes up in this game because he appointed me for an ultimate slay and then I still have like gas. So he looks at my hand, he hits the ultimate slay and I'm like, I can still kind of play through your board. So we're like trading off resources. And then on the following turn, I have the ultimate slay back and I just nuke his board with it. But I can't get to lethal and he has the crack back. That's just solely it. Um, but yeah, it's at this point I find out you need a card in your hand to activate a pointer. My round one opponent didn't have a card in their hand when they activated a pointer. Um, so that was a loss. Uh, round six. Uh, what was that? Something. I played against something. Um, <laughs> Mel Melfi? No, I think I, lo I lose round six. Um, what was my third loss? To? Uh, my third loss was against Relement. Uh, in game three, I opened five side deck cards. So I could skip his turn, but I couldn't get past that. Um, yeah, like, I, I opened Double Prosp, One Talents, um, Anti-Spell, uh, D-Barrier, Prosped into Anti-Spell, Anti-Spell, and then, like, I think it was Anti-Spell, Anti-Spell, fucking, what's the card? Uh, talents, that I already had in my hand. And oh, then I top God. decked into, like, Smashes, and I was like, I've just lost here. Um, yeah, that was a loss. In round seven, I played against Melfi. A uh, guy tried to cheat me at literally every turn he could take. Um, I don't think he was actively trying to cheat me. I just think he... I don't know. Look, I don't like to think people are cheating me. Yeah. But when I ask someone what a card effect is, and he just goes, oh, when you attack it, it bounces to my hand, and doesn't tell you that then it activates a bunch of fucking shit, it's like, okay, cool. Um, also, he has a Synchro on board. Uh, he activates uh, Splat Smashes in my impone column so I flip impone to negate the secret uh, negate the synchro and he shifts the zone it's like dude I wouldn't be activating this card right now if you didn't play it in my call you played it in my call um and then on the very next turn I ask again I don't ask actually this time I read the synchro I'm like get cool uh, make sky cav because I'm gonna Zeus him I attack into the synchro on declaration he activates the return at hand effect and goes, return its cost. I'm like, doesn't return its cost. Put it back on the board. I'm imperming it. Like, it does return its cost. I'm like, it doesn't return its cost. So then he um he decides, he's like, I want to call a judge and check this. And I was like, off you go. <laughs> Calls a judge. Judge immediately goes, this isn't a cost. And then walks off. I'm like, I know. Thank you. So I kill it. Make a Zeus. Win. Um, when we come to the next day, round eight, I play against the guy from Your Move. TCG, um, he's the YouTuber that, he actually put in a lot of work in this event, he was everywhere, um, guy's definitely trying to get, do a lot of work for his channel, um, he's the guy you ever see those like random ass New Zealand lists that show up and it's like first place locals and it's some fucking random shit, they're ready for dual posts, he's the guy that gives them the lists. Ah, um, right, I see, um, okay. Yeah, played against him, uh, strong back and forth between us, uh, I think, again, I lose die roll. He wins game one. I win game two with the exact same setup of flip the anti-spell. Uh, and then round game three, uh, we're just going back and forth. Eventually, I just out-resource him. I mine him for a turn, and that's enough for me to just be like, yep, off to the races I go. You're dead. Um, and yeah, that was my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, before we get into Logan's thing, I do want to give a shout-out to Jesse. Um, he was at the event. Uh, super ask. chill dude. We hung out heaps. Um, yeah, good to see you at the event. If you're ever at an event and you see one of us, make sure to say hello. Yeah, please do. It's cool. Yeah. Um, also, Joe. Yeah, you, big up, Joe. You commentated the event very well if you're watching this podcast. Oh, okay. You yes, stole yeah. my one thing. I was going to Sorry, about. Logan was going to say that. Up. So, yeah. so you're finished? Yeah, that's it. All right, so, so Jake. <laughs> no, you've already <laughs> been over it? Oh, ah, well, so what's, what are we got? So, Logan. No, Logan. <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Even though I, so I, I, stopped that getting, I stopped him from getting laid it's and he feels nice to talk about the event. So the reason I talked to you a lot about the event was Logan was the stream judge. Yeah. 
You couldn't tell from the one guy with blue hair that you saw on TV. He does have a lot of stories he can't talk about. Though. Yeah, I have a lot of stories. I, I need can't to talk remind about. him of that because last time we recorded footage, he decided to just try talking about it, and I was like, "You can't." Yeah, I stopped because I'm a good boy. Um, so I don't think about which ones I can talk about. So you might see me look at Ben and go, "Can't talk about this," and he'll be like, "No." But we'll start with how. Like, how, I, how did you get to this situation? Yeah, I was, I was going to come for the side events. I, I literally came for a holiday. I was like. I'm not playing Ocean X because I didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh for like a year and a half. Uh, and so I was like... Sorry, oh, you had three to get the invite, but it's fine. What? Nothing. I had three years. Yeah, don't worry about it. So you used to get an invite to Ocean X. <laughs> yeah, I could have gone... Yeah. I could have got a 2020 YCS, but I wouldn't play cricket. So, oh, yeah. what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> so imagine just giving up your top. <laughs> um, you going to stay in the field instead of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, it cost me in 2022. Both are equally sad <laughs> things to do. Yeah, Let's but one real. doesn't involve standing. <laughs> true. Yeah. Very true. A bunch Just of 40 year old white through. dudes going. It means <laughs> trampling through a bunch of 20 year old smelly. Food. Yeah, God, that's true. <laughs> anyway, long story <laughs> short, I was going for a holiday. I was going to play in the side event because I knew there'd be like either a Minerva card, like the prize card tournament, or a giant card tournament. Um, but before that, kind of got announced they were like in Yu Gi Oh New Zealand they were like we're looking for judges because we don't have that many judges in New Zealand so if any Australians are coming over and have their judge course can, can you judge and I hadn't had a judge course since three years ago I think my judge course ran out so I messaged the guy like you know I'm sure I can like redo my judge course in the time it takes I've judged LODSs and locals like that's all I've done and he's like cool you're in like, like, all right. redo your judge course and then send me the emails when you get them and I'll put you straight in so I've gone from just judging like locals and LDS which is glorified locals in Australia like you might get 10 people um, <coughs> to going to judging Oceanics and so that's all happening I get there New Zealand I have to be at the place at 8.30 I think the meeting was yep. yeah so I dragged Ben and all that half an hour early we all walk hour in half early Sorry. Technically three hours early by the time we started the event. <laughs> True. Hour and a mm -hmm. half early from when we were meant to start. That's another story. Um, but we all walk in. I get let in. They get kicked out. Um, and got told to go get coffee. <laughs> so I go to the judge meeting. To be fair, it was a good time to go get coffee. Because when I got there, there was a line of three people. When I left, there was a line of 30 people. Yeah. Do you even um, drink coffee? I just got coffee. <coughs> I legitimately had a banana and chocolate chip muffin every day I was there because the first time I was there I had one and I was like this is fantastic they were good muffins they I were hate, delicious muffins um, I hate banana flavoured things but anyway yeah same oh, I went and got one of those muffins on day two yeah. really good muffins fantastic muffins <laughs> this is the most positive <laughs> anyway. thing that's been brought up so far <laughs> anyway you're like I had 80 hours total sleep over three Can days I bitch? my I'll, roommate I'll bitch, sucked bitch but the muffins the venue were great was really nice. yeah. the venue was really yeah. good except for the fact that so, the they had no clock. No, uh, but that's a slide. Given the fact that we've just be come, displayed in New Year. Given the fact that we've actually, I have a discussion point on this later on. Um, given the fact that we've just come from Pokemon, where you don't have a clock, clock. it's considered cheating to have a clock. It's it was fine to not have a clock. Yeah, they they were very active on being like, make sure one of you has neuron open. To use the timer for that, we will give you a start time to hit play on Neuron. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It was so they actually man. allowed Neuron to be used. Yeah, Neuron's perfectly legal at events. I know they've that's said. The point of it, I know right? Konami has said it is, but yeah. the amount of times that like you go to use it at like a regionals or whatever, oh, people get and people are like, yeah, yeah. ah, you can't. You can't. Yeah. No. Yeah. People so get like really at least at every table there was one player who had Neuron open with the timer on their phone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that happened. Anyway, the event. You don't like starts to roll on in the judge meeting they're like okay we have dragon duels that's going to be running we have you know side events on day two so who wants to put their hand up to do side events on day two and i'm just kind of standing there because i was like a little bit overwhelmed and a little bit stressed out just from the idea of judging man from... was like really stressed i was stressed because i was he, like he wouldn't say he was stressed job. like he yeah. was like sweating before we got there yeah he was <laughs> real because i was like i've judged locals and i don't care about telling someone shut up this is a thing I'm doing. Yeah. At locals. But when you're staring bo at Bodum Tendnik, telling him to hurry up. Yeah. yeah. Like, which ends up happening oh, in the finals. That's a question. Yeah. No. Um, which ends up being the finals. Like, telling him, hey, you need to play faster. 
Um, not the one where he starts pointing at his opponent. That's a different That's one. That's different. It was first turn, me going, hey, you're taking 12 minutes for tier element with no hand traps in your way. You need to do this. Anyway, I was, I was stressed. And then they're like, okay, well, who wants to do feature? And in my head, I'm like, either I stand and have to walk all day and answer <laughs> 15, <laughs> like King 10, King. 10 yeah. tables of questions, Amen. which could potentially be a bunch of idiots asking, does this target? Yeah. Instead, yeah. I just have to like, I thought, I'll just watch a game. And watch one game at a time. And that'll be really chill because it's one game. Yeah. Without knowing just how much that one judge does. So I have to put my little hand up and be like, I'll feature judge. And Dan goes, Sure. You're in. He's like, I'll come to you on day two with when the finals matter. You'll be fine. I don't blame Dan. Dan had a flight to catch, it's fine. Um but when I start, they're like, go see the tech guys and they'll tell you what you need for the judging station. And I was like, a bit weird that the judge needs the tech guys. Sure. Don't know why that needs to happen. Yeah. Turns out, right. judging judging the stream, you're not just judging the game. You are actively on a headset to like six people and you are writing everything down for the life points, the names, oh. the decks, the oh. scores, the games won for all the Twitch friend. To be run off, like really and if you make a mistake on that, you will hear it. So, Not from anyone in the tech crew; they were all lovely, but like from Konami officials after the match. So yeah, first it, round, I got in trouble. So <laughs> is, that, is that meant to? Is that meant to be the official thing of like whoever's doing the I don't uh, think so. stream judging is also the tech support? <laughs> well, I don't think so. I think there's usually. I feel just, like this is, is just a shorthand. Thing? Yeah, I they, feel like we were shorthanded. They yeah. did literally sit a laptop in front of him and were like, "You're controlling Twitch." Not controlling all of Twitch. <laughs> I'll controlling like the result, the number, every word and number you saw on that screen. Oh, that's wank was to me. do. That's wank to do. Um, um, it was all done from an Excel spreadsheet. I, yeah. will, I will say. Can you unban me? Like. <laughs> 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 If, uh, if the mic didn't pick that up, they no, said so, this requested so, to be unbanned. So I think you were banned on the American one. This no. was um, Yu Gi Oh! EU. Um, I will, no, uh, I will say that. Euros. That's, like, that's a the shame team. because the stream looked wank. Uh, and it's a shame because the mic setup was cool. I feel like the cameras and stuff. Like, I've seen a lot of productions from a lot of card games have problems from like a camera point of view or like a. I feel like you have done a really good job of like making everything look pretty now and I like logged on the stream and I went why don't we get the po povo stream like, I, will, I will say like I, I agree I'm watching it but the tech guys there were amazing it wasn't yeah, fuck necessarily yeah, the tech guys yeah, yeah, it was yeah. the the displays they got given by Kronos oh yeah, no that, that's so, exactly it they can only put well, up what they get given officially so, used right we need a reference here they were not told it was going to be streamed to Konami's Twitch even the commentary yeah. didn't know they went in expecting it to be streamed to the actual like team organizing the events twitch yeah sure and then they as, as per usual as for like a show final prep it. was being made they, they were, were told like, oh the by the way this is going on to the konami twitch here is the konami materials you will need to get this done also All in right. regards to like the quality of um, production what i've noticed after watching a few different events across the last couple of months is that priority goes usa Europe, anyone else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. US currently has the best quality stream. They have the like the most updated graphics. They have uh, like the setup. Hand, the hand report as well. No, oh, they no. don't. They just don't do the hand report anymore. Oh, they do yeah. have like oh, a feature yeah, card thing COVID on the side. Thing. Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, like they'll do the feature card on Correct, the side. Like they that. think they know oh, what's in there. And they'll about it. Yeah, they'll yeah, yeah, bring yeah, it up. Yeah. Then. Um, well, you'd have two more people in the room. Yeah. Well. In the top cut, so for the Swiss rounds, there was no like asking what their deck was. Yeah. Like I didn't have to ask. When in the top cut, they wanted to know what decks these players were playing. So I'd have these two people sitting down, and I'd have to be like, "Have you guys versed yet? No. All right. Here's a piece of paper. Here's a piece of paper. Write down what you're playing. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. Then give them to me. One round, I did that. I just didn't ask. I'm like, here's a piece of paper because it was like top four. Write down what you're playing. And they're like, we versed each other already. We're both playing tier element. We've both seen every card in each other's list. Yeah, like, right, sure. And I was like, beautiful. Right. Write it down. Thank you very much. But yeah. Anyway, it was wild little Konami Twitch because at the end of game one, round one, I got told that Konami, like, someone from Konami was watching the stream and saw that the decks weren't here. They were in, like, yeah. like whatever normal Yu-Gi-Oh players these Shut days up. play. 
Yeah. And Pokemon, they were like, Pokemon you need to move the things yeah, back. So, Wayne, so I got in up. trouble. It, it but like, it didn't matter. Yeah. I'm just, what? I'm just a judge. I didn't care. It's like not a problem. Um, it is a problem. No, fuck them. What else happened? Why? What else, what else stories can I tell? You know, oh, the story. it's designated to be there. That's where it's supposed know, to go. With the four-man pods, we're having two separate discussions. I know these guys. Yeah, interrupting. So I, I'm back in you. I'm saying there's no problem with having a deck there. Nah, it, there were, it, the problem was. I guess for a production standpoint, it makes sense nice production to it, but the problem was yeah. the mat wasn't zoned. Yeah, we just had the Nibiru mat. Literally, they could have called normal TCG. Yeah, so like that happened anyway. Like, I I didn't really have to do a lot of like. Rulings and stuff. Ruling? It wasn't until later in the rounds where someone was like, what is the ruling on like this interactive with this? It was like, just remind people they couldn't do that. So like, if you watch the artist's like, um, edit of Oceanics, you see like someone uses starter and then tries to summon Ash Blossom. And then like me and his opponent immediately are like, go at the same time, you can't do that. Then he tries to summon red, and it's like, you can't do that either, because that's not a tuner. Um, what if it was Mexican hat? <laughs> the way Yada Lock did that, made it seemed like you let the red go I, I know <laughs> that. <laughs> it looks like red just gets allowed, and I'm like, he doesn't get to use red. Red gets put back in the deck. Um, but then, like, three times on stream, people attacked into a monster that was just bigger than this. And, I, and then, like, two of them were like, can we take this back? And... I was like, no. 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 <laughs> can I ask? Can I ask one weird one though? Because sure. uh, it, I, it just has come up in my brain. Uh, in the finals, uh, there were a couple things, but the one thing that stood out to me, because I'm weird, was the. You can't answer that. Okay. Correct. I know what. You okay. can't answer that on this well, podcast. Well, instead of you answering it, I will just say, um, I didn't realize that uh, a ruling decision that can be made is uh, that if you overlay, you're attempting to make an action, which you are. Uh, and then when he like, looks through his extra deck, he doesn't have a target, and then it's an illegal action, yep. I guess. Yep. Um, so it's really interesting that that like, is the ruling on that. Um, yep. I've seen that go the other way, where some people have like let it slide, or, or the opponent's gone, oh, that's fine. Yep. Um, but uh, for a finals, at a, like, at a WCQ, it yep. has to be done properly. So that was really interesting. Um, I think there was a couple other so weird things. In, but... in that situation... Uh, due to the changes to Konami's policy, um, you no longer have to prove that you do not have a target. The judge yeah. can check that you yes. do not have a target, but that you do not have to prove to your opponent that you do uh, not have yes. a target. Cool. That makes sense. Cool. Yeah, the private knowledge uh, aspect of the game has been taken up a notch since the most recent yeah. policy update. Which is nice because it was weird. Yeah, there are times when that can still be used to your like advantageous pos action position. <coughs> where if you're at a open room with not a judge sitting right there you can maybe take advantage of that fact and be like sorry don't have a target but when a yeah. judge is there watching your actions your every it has action to be done properly yeah it's very simple just to be like see i don't have yet do you want to go have a target okay no problem let's keep playing yes there. and then that way like pace of play gets like yeah yeah um but yeah i think there was a couple like, the other couple like someone grumble someone grumbles. the other couple grumbles um, none bigger than one on day one that I can't talk about. Yeah, you can't discuss that. Um, but yeah, it's been discussed by other people. Was it on stream? I'm so glad Can that you, you tell me what happened. If he doesn't yeah, it's my lawyer. There is, there are, it, some of it does occur on stream. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Do, but do, there is did no, he tell you anything? No. No. Literally, so can you we just say there, what you know. We were there watching. Okay. Can you um, say I'm only still you know. not going to discuss the situation? Okay. Was yeah. it like potentially it malicious? So is that why? It's just or it's just some nice things weren't said that I'm just not gonna repeat. Oh, oh, fair. No, it's fine. Ignore the seal. Yeah, uh, <laughs> noisy seal. seal. Um, we have um, a seal stuck in the bathroom. Yeah. We, yeah. We, anyway, there's a lot of stuff. We, with I, that kind of stuff, I see you. So yeah. fucking don't give them the. Yeah. yeah. If they just want to be dickheads, they can be dickheads. Most of the oh, day wow. was really like after I think round three, I, my stress was out. Like I was no stress. Yeah. I was so much more chill, and that was really because of one John, like my mate, like John Lowbridge. Who I'd been chatting to before going to the event. Yeah, made it out. Ben ripped him off once. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, when we started talking at the event, I immediately it was like, hey, just so you know, I ripped you off three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, we were chatting. He made me feel a lot calmer as well. Um, the head judge, Daniel, who I hadn't known, like, personally before this event, and I'll be real, he didn't really have a great impression of Daniel from, like, what I had heard about Daniel. He was amazing. 
I was gonna say, you know what's really funny? I have heard every a bunch of stuff from Daniel about like from people that have nothing to do with you yet mm. and have all said really good things. Yeah, he was amazing. He made me feel like I was a number one judge. Like which was great going into an event where I was sweating. Um, so those guys, Luke Dutton as well was amazing. Um, the commentary team was really good, especially because I was having a lot more to do with them. Because I was having to bring like the winners into the commentary area because I was the one with the headset to be like, we're on our way, like we're coming, all right, we're standing in position, here you go. Um, so stuff like that. And that was great. Um, Joe was amazing. Good chatting afterwards, especially like being like, oh, we didn't understand like what was happening here, but like, can you explain what was happening? Oh, this was the ruling. Like, this is what happened. So that was really good. And that made me feel a lot more confident as a judge. Yeah. Um, and so going into those later rounds where stuff actually started to matter, um, like the finals, where someone... And, like, Bowden was amazing. Like, Bowden's really chill. Um, so, like, even so, when I was like... So Bowden. Even when I was like, hey, like, you need to take, you need to speed this up, he was like, yep, yeah, absolutely, and started playing fast. Because um, he played super fast in his first, like, 30 seconds. Yeah. Got mm-hmm. to, like, a combo line, slowed down. Yeah, um, sure. And that was, that was like, you just need to hurry up. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't have had the confidence of that, which I didn't, because, like, Broden did the same thing in, like, round six. Like, he was yeah. really fast, slowed down really fast. Yeah. No, I, I didn't say a word. I probably could have. It didn't really matter. Um, but, like, I didn't, I wasn't that confident yeah. first time around. Getting to the finals, I was much more confident to be like, you need to play faster. Well, yeah, as you said at the very start, it's not something that you'd done before. It was very much just a locals thing. And if and anyone no one gets slow play when he's in the locals. Well, yeah. People complain about it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's talked about. But it's like you're far more comfortable in an environment where you're mostly around your friends, being able to tell them what to do. You're a bigger mm-hmm. And then you've been yeah. thrown into an environment where not only are you trying to do something in a scenario where you've never been in before, like mm. judging that higher level, but you also had like as far as I can work out 17 other jobs so of course you're going to be nervous in the first one but at the same time once you get it eased into it it yeah. becomes a lot easier and I will say like I would much rather like if I go to another if I did YCS on Oceans again I would still absolutely take the feature job over any other job you shouldn't say that because then people are going to do it no and you guys shouldn't because you guys it. will hate it but yeah, me, <laughs> that's what I'm saying because I've, I've, I've done it first because like not many people go and do feature yeah. first I did feature first like I only I think I did like maybe 40 minutes on the floor yeah in total I gave out like three penalties in that 40 minutes but like (laughs) my knees were gone after 40 minutes (laughs) I had a seat it was fantastic Um, uh, correct me if I'm wrong but this is your most successful feature right Oh, I, well, I won my feature match. Logan, why would you say that racist stuff that we had to cut out? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? Why? We Not on the podcast, he dropped, man. he dropped a hard W. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saved, I saved Konami, I saved these guys, and then I just get slurred. Well, let's, look, let's get to the end. Probably with something you can discuss. Saving Konami's ass? Saving Konami's ass. We've alluded yeah. to it already, but literally, the we're ending the event. Yeah. And Logan just reaches under the table and pulls out the cape puts it on as like I'm gonna fucking save all of you yeah so as we said we're at WCQ Oceanics which the commentary team had gotten wrong they had said um like some the same words but in a different order and got in trouble the tech guys were writing in like champion etc etc for the final shot on, on Dino and they're like just let us know when it's about to be the winning the winner's like shake hands so we get a real good shot on the YCS champion yep. he's like hey X name have you got the title screen up with YCS champion Dino Spokovic and I was just sitting there in the camera with the headset I'm going do you mean Oceanic champion <laughs> and they're like we have YCS champion written down is this not a YCS <laughs> and I'm just like I think you see me look up because the guy's here and like the main cameras are here and I kind of just look up look at him and go we're at Oceanics. This is the Oceanic champion. And just from the other room, the guy in the headset goes, we need to change these titles to champion. Uh, we need to uh, just ch- Thank to you for them. a very good call right there. <laughs> we just, were going to miss that. Just get rid Imagine of that. Imagine being 16 hours into working and then being told what you're working at. Yeah, you'd be like, hey, do you know who you are? No. <laughs> but again, 
again, like these guys, <laughs> these guys again. It's not their job because they don't work. They they're don't work. So they don't work for Kanan. They just tech people. To these guys' yeah, defense, they was they're, great, dude. No, they're oh. flesh and blood casters. Oh, lit! They, they were not Yu-Gi-Oh casters. Like I, I will say, the only <laughs> from a production standpoint, I really liked it. Like, like again, the audio was good, video was good. The casters were really, really good. Except when they said dogs. Sometimes, hey. so, yes. Oh, sometimes yeah, that, they, they, would just, they would just go like, Don't care. oh yeah. That's on stream. <laughs> anyway, and like, they just like, both like, tune out for half a second. I'd be like, <laughs> watching the game. Yeah. And, like, they, and they like, literally said the finals are like, oh yeah, we just got caught watching this. Like, fair enough. When well, like, right, I'll talk, I, I think I can call. talk about this. I was talking to Joe, um, who's one of the commentators. Lawyer. About, about, this. yeah, you know, I don't think you even know this. Story. I don't know the story. Um, and, and he was like, you know, I was feeling really, he was like, I feel really self conscious about how he went on day one. But then I like listened to like some other streams, like commentary, and I was like, oh, we're really good. Yep. And felt way better. And I was like, I've listened to like, I watched the EU stream. You were much better than the EU stream. Yeah. There were times during that EU stream. I was like, oh, just shut the fuck up. I wanted to put a nail in my ears. <laughs> there is some, you know what's sad? There are some this, how, this is why we don't get commentary that They have, that are amazing. Like, Where's really no charismatic, you? know what the fuck they're talking about, and they're just like, but what if we just hired idiots? Yeah, they had a really good one, and they exactly fired him. Oh yeah, I forgot about that whole thing. Oh, he yeah. was great. He was a great one. Yeah, that was fantastic. Him and um, Magello, Two House Magello, Two, two House Magello. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking wait, wait, wait. Do you reckon Joe has a house in Australia or in New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say no. With the, I don't with the think current Joe housing has. market, no. probably not. So, no. but Marcello can afford two houses with his Konami money. Where's Joe's two houses? I don't think Joe's being paid for that event. We need to get Joe two houses. The fact that I don't think, the fact know, they didn't know that they were getting on Konami's official stream, I don't think they were getting paid. This also, in some towns in Italy, you can literally buy a house for one euro. Yeah. It's yeah, but not. that's his home country. He's bought a house in another country. Yeah. Oh, my one yeah. euro house. Uh, <laughs> the, long, sorry, the long story short of this was I had a really good time at the event, and I made the most out of this event. I won the event for our top for our players of Wollongong. Yes. Because I ended up with like seven to eight hundred dollars Australian if I sell everything. Whoa. I'm going to need that field center, by the way. No, oh, you want it? Oh. Yes. Pay for it. Maybe. Whoa. What, what uh, field center is it? Is it the map, but in a. No, it's, no, it's um... the Dark World Link. Yeah. It looks sick. Oh, fair. You know the cool. chick that's like on the droplets artwork? No, I don't, I don't know how like much. I don't know how to go to it, but the Vampire Sucker one goes for a hundred US. Field center? Yeah. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. Um, so, well, in. So, well, you know, to break down the like uh, playing aspect of the game, yeah. uh, we have a top 32 breakdown. Uh, oh, we have... Um, <coughs> big shout out, Stephen Medhurst, oh, Tomo Bridge, and Fox. You all did really great at the event. Be proud of yourselves. And you're a good wife. Yeah, you're Why a very good people. Who yeah. What? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> also, shout out to Yuri too. You annoyed me the whole trip, but you were great. Yeah. Shout out to both Yuri and Yuri too. Yuri 2 <laughs> Yuri Dose Yuri 2 we're Fuck not giving you. Yuri 2 a yeah. shout out Yuri, Yuri 2, two stopped him getting laid Josh and Yuri look exactly the same uh, oh yeah that oh, was yeah. a photo side yeah. by side of which one's the Josh literally one. going into like round 7 I think it was I'm going up to Fox to see how Fox is going and I thought Josh was standing at the table watching I went to say hello looked at his feet and was like Josh doesn't own new balances <laughs> <laughs> oh I will say one more thing about Daddy before we go to the thing <sighs> Sorry, well, this is practically our stream anyway. Um, this, this is just an uh, Oceanics recap podcast. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are lucky to be here. Um, especially... <laughs> not you, you're Keep fine. Um, I will say the one the one like big joke call that was missed that I know I got flamed for in chat on Twitch was the top the, the top 8 hero, top 16. It was top 16 hero match. Um, Must change. Must change after Except you're locked in. Except I'm locked to dark five locked minutes into ago. Locked dark from like... No, not even... It was like ten minutes in, early in that oh, turn. Blake would like this story. Um, yeah, so it's, it's Hero... It's on Bird Corner. It's Hero... Bird Corner? It's Hero versus Blunder in Top Cut. And so I had been okay. like... I had said pretty openly like... Oh, I understand like... The meta matches pretty well. Minus Rika a little bit. Still kind of knew what they did, but... They were the third deck of the format. Um... But like this guy was just like, oh, the hero deck in top cut, and I was like, oh, fine, whatever. Heroes Hell will lose yeah. to tier element, whatever. It's hero versus flunder, and I'm like, Ugh. awesome. I have to understand chain links because yeah. a lot of that match was understanding chain links. Yeah, because it'd be like chain link one here, chain link two, three, four, five, six. Um, 
Flunder is actually a really good deck for learning the intricacies of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it was it was great. Yeah, That's what I wanted as a feature. Um, but like the hero player starts his turn, does some stuff, gets locked in the darks early, With what? and like activates Fusion Destiny very early in his turn. Yeah. Oh right. Pre normal um, summon. Very important factor. He's activated Fusion Destiny before he normal summons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then he like he like does his normal summon triggers map. Flunder player goes Flunder. for like six minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Player, the, my turn goes, is actually your turn. Yeah, it's my yeah. turn. Yeah. So he, he summons seven separate action ignitions. Yeah. He does a lot of stuff. Okay. Anyway, but like at the end of that stuff, it's like six minutes later. I had like had to have like three different chats on my mic, and so by the time I go back, I had kind of lost the plot and gone. Oh, it's Flunder's turn because he's doing like seven normal summons. Guy flips mass change, summons into. Acid, acid, uh, and I didn't didn't stop it. None of us stopped it. Um, However, the acid did get negated. Yeah, by, it got it got tributed by, right away, so it made no so, difference. So uh, the acid never gets a chance to resolve. It's tributed before it is able to do anything. Leaves the board so no like longer a higher yeah. stack to yeah, a right. higher chain link on the previous summon. Doesn't acid uh, isn't acid on play? So acid like, gets summoned. So the way it so, worked, right? This is one of the chain links I got discussed. Yeah. Is like chain link one effect to go surge and summon. Yeah. Chain link two is mass change. Yeah. So um, acid summon. will summon. This will resolve. Tributing the acid. M pen. Acid misses. Tributing your acid and miss the M pen. Oh, it's the same way. That's in a, lit. In a Flunder mirror, if yeah. you tribute their their, their normal summon yes. has just occurred, it will miss its time. They don't get to do yeah. the extra normal. Yeah. yeah cool, so cool, like cool. that that happened, and and I come back after commentary after the commentary is finished. It's good for my. I'm talking about commentary. He's like, oh yeah, by the way, you got flamed by chat. No big deal. Every like the greatest thing about this event was that every judge is like, I, I get it now. Every judge is like, we understand that we are going to mess up at least once in an event. Yeah. But like, it's it's how quickly you can move on from that and not just get held down by it. Because if you get held down by that, you're ruined. Don't for the give in to chat. Um. But like, yeah. Other than that, it was really good fun. If you're a judge, back to self. Be proud of yourself. Except if you're saying Dragoon doesn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't what? If uh, you're saying Dragoon uh, can pop up and be banished. Shut the fuck up right now. Let me finish my sentence. Go. Because if you're just a good judge, the outside pressures that put shit on you get banned from the game. Uh, uh, true. Uh, it's it really true. Jake's got banned. Yes, it happens. I thought I sent all your stuff from Messenger to Konami. You're gone, mate. You're gone away for a long time. <laughs> I've got a <laughs> lot more shit on you than you have on me, sir. <laughs> You're gone away Can for a long imagine? time, mate. Legitimately. Oh, bro. I was sorry. Like, like mistakes <laughs> happen. Like, there's no judge in this game that's going to sit down and go, oh, I haven't just made a wrong ruling before. It was the it, really good will. thing. This is going to sound like me the sucking bones. The only stick. issues between... Sorry. The only issues between judges that acknowledge their mistakes and judges that go, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. They, the, yeah. A judge that goes... I apologize in the moment I made an incorrect decision. That's a respectful judge that I can get behind. But if a judge turns around and goes, I made the ruling at the time, that is what it is. That's when it's not okay. Yeah. yeah because, because you just, you just yeah. turn you, you can make your real yeah. Like, I acknowledge. Everyone makes mistakes. I was a hero really wrong. Acknowledge your like, I just, not even wrong. I just didn't even acknowledge it. Yeah. Like, it was there. Didn't see it. And, like, I immediately was like, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, there was one point in the stream where. On the mic, like through the headset, they, like the tech team was like, the commentators are wondering if they can tell you if you've missed something as a judge. Yeah. At the end of a game, and I was like, oh my gosh, what have I missed? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was like a tier element mirror with a window on board, and so I was freaking out. I take the winner up, they do the commentary, and I come back and go, what did I miss? And it was not they're like, no, we were wrong. We didn't notice the uh, window got droplets. And so the guy actually oh, had this and made like two, three summons. Okay. So I went from having like the biggest heart the biggest palpitations heart attack. to yeah, like yeah. so chilled. I was like, oh, thank God. I, I feel um, like I see that though in higher level play. Like yeah. I, I only hear about, I guess it's happened, but I only hear about like maybe at regionals, like or at even smaller events that judges are just like, uh, you know what? Nah, fuck yeah. Yeah. Like just yeah. the only part of this is, is there's probably one. like they feel like those tier events don't matter, so they're yeah. like they're just I got like, it wrong, I got it wrong, but fuck yeah! Like I can also get it from the fact that like at most events there are a lot of people that just treat judges like shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, Everyone like, judges like you know, shit at every level. Of the game. Again, I got into a lot of things. 
Um, but there's definitely, like, you hear people just be like, this judge is gay for wrong ruling. It's like, man, that judge is like a human being. He's he's the reason you're allowed, you're letting, like, you're able to play Yu Gi Oh! right yeah. now. This man that is judge going there, out of his way to not play the game so mm, that you can enjoy Those the game. judges, I'm pretty sure besides, like, two of them, had all qualified for Oceanics. Yeah. Right, well, yeah. They so could have just played. Have, yeah. Um, Are you one of the two? Yeah. No. Good. Because if you would not count yourself on the two, I was going to call you out. No. Um, but, um, I will say, like, my last thing on judging, because we do have to get to other stuff. This might sound like me sucking a, a broken stick, but it, it felt really nice to, like, be able to do the, the finals as the judge and have the losing player, who is such a big name, still, like, show the nice snuff, like, care for the game to be like hey this is your first time judging I think you did a really good job yeah. and you should do it more often hearing that at the oh, end oh. of the stream again oh, cute bird mate Warms and um, but like hearing that in the end of the stream made me feel a lot better about the whole experience um, it actually made me be like oh I would be keen to do this again that and the prizes the prizes also made <laughs> the prizes um, there, are a lot of, there are a lot of high level players that like know they do actually fundamentally know more than the judge and will do sometimes the right thing and help you or like work mm. with judges or they will treat them like no 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 you're stupid as fuck I'm gonna well, take and it just doesn't work it's the old adage of like you attract more flies with honey than vinegar like sure you might know exactly what you're doing but if you just go no you're fucking wrong you're dumb this is That's how it. it works the judge is gonna be like well you ain't getting any more windows from me L- listen buddy yeah sorry but yeah the, whereas um, if you're like well actually this is current policy this is how it should work um maybe check it or appeal it and yeah just like, do the right yeah, process just be nice just yeah be nice. uh or you do neither which is <coughs> uh, when i use a kaiju to tribute uh, a CDI and they go you can't do that I'm allowed to negate it calls a judge over judge says well no you know he tributes it and then the player straight up looks at the judge and goes it's not my fault you're stupid <laughs> and, let me tell you something let me tell you something I, the, the, oh. the, the patience on that man to look at him and go and just walk away bro I couldn't I couldn't nothing is funnier to me more than when people are aggressively wrong <laughs> it is it is those things that do make me kind of want to go I'll try floor judging next time yeah it's, but then I was like some funny stuff I don't want to deal with like, like someone calling a judge over to be like this isn't cost well I, I don't want to deal with like <laughs> like because the worst did, part did about floor like judging I think like, to his extra day yeah. quick. the worst part I think about floor judging would be that it's, you go up to like someone will call judge for slow play or like be like he's taking too long to like he's not letting me go into the battle phase and a lot of the time you go up and you would have to be like what what's happened here and you can't get a good answer because oh, both, context like, is both players, lost yeah. both players are attempting in. to explain it in yeah. a way that like helps their situation exactly so yeah. like that's the sort of stuff that I, I was like really stressed about so being feature judge didn't mean I didn't took have to took out all of that shit yeah, yeah like the only the policy thing that I, like the penalties I gave out on the floor because I had like finished the feature match earlier and was like talking to another judge he was like busy on one and I turned around and do another were like oh my opponent activated super poly discarded for cost and then had no target and so it's like oh it's, it's a PE minor um, illegal activation infraction you get a warning is this your first one yes beautiful done like it was that sort of stuff it wasn't like my opponent is purposely cheating um, and he is slowing down the clock on purpose so that he can red resonate a beef game yeah which is like well ah just just quickly as well before we get into the rest of the podcast <coughs> um someone it's like a two hour brought up, it's a long one so far um someone brought up an interesting um potential resolution to the time issue in that oh, you have again. basically a randomized timer this between 35 to 45 minutes yeah. but at no point is the clock counting down it only yeah. counts up only the judges are aware of the time that's in the round yep yeah, so so the, oh so yeah. you have a time frame yeah, there's a timer ticking up yes um at some point between 35 and 45 minutes time will be called okay so you know there is a time frame yeah. that we are at the later stage of the yeah. game now start to pick up the pace yep yeah. but it's somewhere there yeah oh, i hate that uh, only the judges know what the time is going to be 
Mm. So, uh, yeah. what's interesting is yeah. I don't like that. the time thing for Pokemon. Yes, you you uh, there is no clock. I, at any point, you ask a judge, "How long do I have left?" They can tell you about twenty minutes. Yeah, about ten minutes. Yeah. Like they they don't have a problem with you knowing about what po- portion of the game you're in. Yeah. So that could not be bad because I genuinely think seeing the clock in you go right now is a problem. Yeah. Well, I think the when, fact that we're in a format where two decks are luck based and have like, about 95 different output lines the f- makes your deck go slow yeah also the fact that literally I'm almost certain every single person that topped was playing a burn or life game guard in Just their side deck was John great. playing Lacris? no he was playing red resonator red resonator okay it's free I thought Lacris was a free funny one um, oh the, the little dude yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. Tier element play nice. uh, uh, Skull Marked Ladybug if it's sent to the graveyard. Agave Men- Dragon. No, Agave Dragon. Oh, Agave Dragon's, Dragon's another one. It's actually like you can like just combo into it. That's so gross. Um, that and like, I mean, someone played Go Cowboy apparently. So yeah, a lot of people played Cowboy. What yeah. a king! Um, we signed one. That was great. Kings. You can also just play. Um, yeah, Cowboy just goes in Trailments as well. Two level fours, two level fours. Yeah. I think Agave Dragon is the better one for tier on them. Yeah. Like your full combo, you're like it's just one extra body. You don't care what it is. Curious and that into Agave Dragon, it makes like especially the Bowden's list. Like he was playing practically four ways to the um, Despia Dragon. He was playing Destrudo. He was playing Mudra. His list was kind of weird. Like I haven't watched the profile yet, but I remember seeing like a very small clip of the final because I was working throughout um, the. Oh wait, I wasn't working. I was busy. Um, but I remember um, seeing a flash of branded in high spirit, yeah. which I always thought was a seriously underrated card for that deck. It's really good. Yeah. But I saw a it's flash really of it. Really like, oh. well, like I looked at like there's one point where you see me. Frog. Yeah, you oh, see yeah, me in the D3 finals. Frog. See him go, and I you see a hand come That's from the judge side. The go. That. What the heck is this? And it's like me looking for like the tier element, but also being like D three S frog. What the hell? <laughs> but what is this? What is this? It's great. Yeah. Anyway, and that's the last judge comment I'll make. I had a great time. Yep. Okay. So, for the event... I going to say something. For the event, we have the top 32 breakdown, which is as follows. <laughs> 13 sprite, 11... Oh, sorry. It's 11 sprite, 13 tier element. Had them the wrong way around. Um, and then one of each of the following. Uh, we have branded uh, Elbitch. We have Mathematic, we have Flundries, we have Hero, we have Runic Sprite, as far as I understand. No, that is pure Runic. Pure yes, Runic, pure. okay. Because two of the sprites are Runic. Yeah. Uh, oh! Yeah. Uh, one Sword Soul, one uh, Tier Element Sprite, and then whatever this thing is. Yeah, I, I thought all the Tier Element Sprite was classified as its own thing, yet Runic Sprite is not. Yeah. That's, that's Tier Element Sprite list? Thing. Like, I'm pretty sure that's the guy who was on stream and I asked for his, like, to write down his name. Yep. And he wrote down, like, Tier Element Danger Punk Sprite, and I was like, you get one. <laughs> and I just picked no. Tier Element. I was like, you get Tier Element. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't remember this thing special. Is. I was there. Which one? That one. Um, Dragon Link. Yeah. Oh, Dragon okay. Link. Yeah, that makes that sense. That Dragon Link in round one? Cracked. Actually, um, just destroys the board. And then going to top eight, we have five uh, two element, uh, and then one sprite, <laughs> one adventure, a lich branded, um, and one flundry. Did you watch that? T- did you watch that um, eldest player play in this feature match? No. It's the best feature match of the whole day. Not because it's actually back and forth. It was <laughs> just like ten minutes, and I really wanted a break at that point. It was like game one, set, set four. All right, flip skill drain. Game two. Yep. Opponent does a combo, sets a back row, pass, flip anti spell. Scoop. Game three. Do like brand stuff. Set pass. Flip skill drain. Scoop. QD. Thanks, mate. <laughs> I got like a, a thirty-five. Right, I got like a thirty-five what? minute break after that. It was fantastic. Oh, best time of my life. He knew he was going second, <sighs> but like, surely he had traps that he could play through the board. No, no. The elder player was the one flipping skill drain. Yeah, I get that, but when you say that he flipped anti spell and the Eldritch player couldn't play, he had a bunch of brain cards. Funny story, um, Jesse, you'll be watching this podcast and comment below. Oh, I know, I know this story. It's 
That can't be for the story. <laughs> it's why can't you be for the story? It's funny. Um, he's playing against Labyrinth. This is oh, the side fun. This is the side fun. event. He's playing against Labyrinth okay. round one. All right. Flips into his spell fragrance. His opponent says, "So I can't activate my spell cards. I have to set them." He goes, "Yes." Dude sets. So Jesse says, "Yes, you can't activate your spell cards until the following, until like you're following next turn. So you can't activate them on my turn." Yep. Guy goes, "That's fine." Sets five passes. Jesse combos off and kills him. Guy just reveals that he has five trap cards set. <laughs> Idiot just didn't think you could activate anything that you set under anti spell fragrance. <laughs> And like oh, it's no. fine. I realized, yeah. When I heard this, I was like, I can sit here and listen to this because one, it's after the game, so I can't fix you. Two, it's actually not anything illegal. Yeah, no, Jesse no. says he just just literally spell. did nothing wrong. He reads the card, and this the guy goes, goes <laughs> "Trap card, the spell card." Yeah, yeah, yeah. this and guy like, Trap card must have read it and been like, "Anything that I set cannot be activated." Yeah, and I was like, one, I can't help him anyway because I'm in the feature match area. But two, no judge can help him there because he goes, yeah. no "So you judge. can't activate set cards." Correct. Your spells can't activate. Yeah. Oh well, this. Like, I, we couldn't believe. Yeah, Jesse was good value. Sorry we didn't come to Casino, mate. Yeah. Blame Yuri too. Blame Yuri too. It really was him. Like cringe. We oh, were gonna what? go to Casino, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. was like, "I want to go." Bring that up. He oh, was like, shit. "I want to throw up in a that woman's bathroom and go <laughs> and get yelled at by a woman." <laughs> <laughs> so, so speaking of the so, amount of time, so that yeah, we were just mentioning time rules and stuff. Yeah. Um, so a, a tweet went out from Yu Gi Oh TCG. No, Can no. I please inspect the Twitter account? No, it's, it's real. It's, it's real? an actual yeah. It's not, green, it's, not green it's not green. It's not green. It's not green. It's not Yu Gi Oh Department of Konami. On the way to the event on day two. Leonardo showed us a photo from Konami Greenland and thought it was real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that multiple times. The amount of times I've been shown a picture from Konami Greenland's Twitter account, and I've been like, they can't do this! And oh, it's not real. <laughs> um, but yeah, from the official Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Twitter account, we have, Attention YCS Duelists, a 45-round time limit will be implemented in North America starting from YCS Niagara Falls. So what yeah. is the usual time limit? Just check. Okay, yeah. so they're getting an extra five minutes. Yeah, extra five. So they need to combo for another four and a half more meaningless minutes. If you watch any game, game that went to time play. that ended in like someone comboing off and burning, this doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, I'll use Bowden's example with the Agave Dragon. I'm pretty sure that turn goes for like eight and a half minutes, and they went into time think like two minutes into it. Two minutes into it. So he still yeah. burns him for time. Yeah. He this just makes needs no to difference. get to that burn. Like, yeah, it, it's irrelevant. What this does is means like, it does stop a few people from burning time where they're like, ah, oh, instead of having two minutes to throw and slow place, ten minutes left on the clock, someone might not sign that red. Yeah, yeah. But like, if you're any chance of going to time, you're still signing your burn card because, in theory, it's an extra X slot, and you shouldn't lose to the extra X slot until you do. Yeah. In the finals. Yeah. 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 You did uh, had to win something, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's, look, it's... I can see what they're trying it's, to do. It's interesting they're willing to change time rules. They need to be changed. I know. There's, they don't Something care. needs to be changed. They, they need to at least acknowledge it and experiment. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, the, the first time... I think Bragg might be able to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure the first time they ever touched the, the time rules ever was the time rules we're currently in where they took away turns. Yep. I'm pretty sure in like they didn't touch it for like 12 years and then all of a sudden they're like, like a time bank at one point yeah so I don't think um, there's anything different since I started but playing they, they like the whole argument is we don't want to be here at 9 o'clock at night still playing so you know what no times no times being too. modest it's yeah. midnight it was like yeah. midnight yeah. Um, which like you know you could just have more than one round a day too but that's fine um, no I mean no, we, we actually could fair we, we were kicked out yeah. It was so venue is really, really, really good. Yeah. However, it hard closes at seven. Meaning oh, seven. Yeah. at Meaning, seven PM it is yeah. get the fuck out of here. It's no, it at seven we are closing the gate, so at six thirty you are out. Yeah. The round was ending, people were still playing and they were on the telecom going, If your game's finished, leave. Yeah. 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 Which was really bad for me because I was like, I can see Ben, Josh, and Leonardo have all finished their games. And I really hope they don't get told to leave because they're my right home. Yeah. yeah. I, at any point, I had literally no issues accessing anything 
Yeah. I was, it, someone tried to stop me at one point, and I was like, I have this for a judge. Hey, let me through. Yeah. Oh, Ben playing the judge yeah, like, card around Legitimately. So when I come back with his coffee <laughs> and stuff on day one, they like have only just opened the door. The line is well outside. I just walk past everyone. Someone tried to stop me. I was like, I've got stuff for a judge. Here for a judge. Here for a judge. Get out of the way. And then I, just, <laughs> I, I didn't come back and cut my line. I waited for the line to be cleared. Then I went over and Richard. Yeah. Yeah. You had a perfect window in your waist. No, yeah, he was no. he was in the building. He was like, yeah. I just say I just sit I'm down chilling, yeah. and wait for this to be I over. I just chilled out, talked to the commentators, and then yeah, went and fucked. Uh, other than now that, be, I think the biggest news thing. we have is we have up. one piece of <laughs> Breaking the law. big news that we could just only focus on the last photo of. What? Just, 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 one? just go that one, just one and we'll talk about that. Okay, we can do that. Yeah. We have other stuff to talk about though. We have lots of stuff to talk about. To our podcast. Hmm? To our podcast. Alright, oh, we're just going. Okay, we're just right. talking about everything. I'm let's go, on, let's I'm go. I'm fucking going to do tomorrow. Okay, let's go. So, um, right, right, before right, we get right, into right. this, uh, as a quick tidy up of last week, uh, we do have an update for Master Duel in terms of this uh, season's Duel Pass. Um, so, the first interesting thing about this is that the first one that you had to buy well not had to buy the first one that you could buy was 600 gems the most recent one before the current was 800 gems inflation is they've bullshit. now brought it down to 700 oh That's and the mate that you used to get at 100 you now get a 75 oh what's the new mate uh bitron that's why <laughs> bitron's cool Shut bitron's up. a 50 cent ulti yeah it's not an ulti yes it is you're thinking bitron oh Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you did this last time. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what the fuck time? is this card? It's a I thought it was Bitron too. No, 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 Bitron. It's a little cyburst dude. He looks cool. I'd rather Bitron. Well, you can't have Bitron, okay? Oh, I mean, you can't have Bitron. I can at level seventy-five with my dual pass. It's like, <laughs> nah, I don't care. Well, he's all right. He's it should have been uh, bike roid. It should have been <laughs> Mystic Mine. It should have been <laughs> All three. I, I want the guys with the th- like with the pickaxes. <laughs> that card has to go. Um, anyway, um, yeah, no new festivals as yet. Um, no uh, new cards. There are. There is the leak that the um, Sword Salt. No, not Sword Salt. Branded support is coming in the upcoming pack, but I, there's no date set for that, so it's coming soon, but we don't know when. Um, yeah, that's where we're at with that. Oh, yeah. See? Uh, so, on to one of the biggest announcements in the last week and a half. The 2022 Tin of the, tin of the Pharaoh's Gods. Uh, the Mega Tins. Uh, so, reprints are really solid this year. Really solid. Is that in chat? Hmm? Is that in chat? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... There's a whole heap of them. The main ones that they haven't reprinted are uh, Sword Soul. They don't have a reprint in this. They're going into Battles of Legend for reasons I don't understand. Not exactly sure what's going on there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it was actually actually man, you went down. Yeah, it was. Sure. Um, so the biggest reprints that we have, and I'll start with the one that will impress you the most, I'm sure, is uh, Earth Chant. From uh, what 2013? 2014? Oh, yeah, Jake. Uh, when we landed, everyone clapped. Oh, that was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? What'd you say? When we landed on the Latin, oh, like, Latin no, American no, Airlines, no, I hate they all it. No, this airplane, so we, we should talk about the airplanes. Qantas was great. <laughs> well, the airplane sucked. The airplane home. Actually, sorry. Qantas sucked for me personally. <laughs> but. It was still fine because I got to sleep on it. it was what was that famous butthead ass <laughs> laugh you just did? <laughs> but his seat was great. He was behind me, had a <laughs> flipping great time with an actual iPad that worked and a placeholder for it that worked. Yeah, My iPad you, didn't you, work. He sat down and was like, "They didn't give me an iPad." I asked the flight attendant for an iPad. I, well, the flight attendant's like, "Just take it from some other chair." He took an iPad. He then goes to set it up and he's like, "Oh, it's because my setup is broken." <laughs> and then like finally get the iPad to work. Doesn't actually work. You like. Press on it, and it was like, this does not work. You had to like, span the... Qu- anyway, it was fine. Quantum's still good, because I could sleep. The seat was comfortable enough. Latem. Ugh. We left late. Yeah. The seat was like a... It, it felt like a mesh seat. Yeah. And like, it was as if like, the headrest was here, didn't move. You would have like, the back, and then it would just kind of pop away. 
and C would be there. So you had nothing for your back. It was all pain. Sounds is that fun. accurate? Also, Although, we had an old guy that was up and down all fight next to us. And a child behind oh, himself screaming. No. Oh, fuck, I turned up on music when that and, started. And they Same. applauded when you land. <laughs> fuck, the way your flight... Actually, I'm not going to make that joke. Um, <laughs> I, Jake, I pulled Jake, right Jake, out of that. <laughs> we can clap that way. I landing. looked at you. That's a good landing. Jake landed that well. <laughs> that was a good landing. <laughs> uh, back to the tins. Um, so, some really notable reprints that we have here. We've got Lightning Storm, Droplets, um, uh, all of the Ghost Girls. On this page, I tell a lie. I've told Jake to skip. Uh, <coughs> but, uh, DPE. Uh, is on that page yeah DPE is a non-starlight reprint is okay but also yeah. no one's fucking summoning it also uh, uh, more most importantly the hero player was ultra rare toucan ultra rare toucan bird is corner that, that's the only upgrade yes there, right? uh, oh no prismatic map uh, it's super strength and super strength yeah so you got something at least um, Ultra but, Toucan! But back to the cards people care about. Um, so all the Ghost Girls. Uh, we've got Nibiru, Dark Ruler No More, D-Shifter, uh, Dragoon, it. Crossout, uh, the alternate art for Red Eyes and Blue Eyes, and DMG, um, and some anime bullshit. Yep. Actually, speaking of the anime bullshit, people are piping up the God, the Slifer card and the God cards in general. <laughs> Shut but the fuck there's one off. issue. Hmm? So there's one problem. What's that? It says Trap. It does say Trap. Yeah. But it has a graveyard effect, so it's not all bad. Tier element slifer. No, I've no. seen three profiles so far. You <laughs> joke, <laughs> but it's something that people want to do. But there's actually a really cool the card. The fans want it. I didn't realise it was a thing. Um, a spell card called Link to the Rains. It's like... Yeah, it's busted. Um, yeah, yeah, Link summoned from hand, your opponent can't respond. Yeah. You Shit. Get, you get Nibiru? No, no, no. Able. Wow. Somehow, Josh, you're going to tell us it's bad. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And then he'll play it two weeks later and say, I never said it was bad, I said it was busted. Also, by the way, like, <laughs> the droplets, things. droplets, uh, cross out getting a rarity bump. Yep. The first reprint, Secret Ash. Yep. Uh, droplets, it's the prismatic. third. <gasps> it's prismatic. Oh, is it like the prismatic secret? Yeah, yeah it's uh, prismatic secret, it's, it's not bad. secret secret. It's bad secret. Uh, I mean, droplets, like another secret. It's not wrong, but it's okay. uh, better than American. Storm, another secret. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're better than American. But Are this they? tin, this tin, I it's, imagine, is going to be similar to the last cool tin we had, which was the the, the one where we got the platinum rare ones. Yeah. I agree. Uh, shut up. <laughs> um, but I imagine this tin, you're going to pull so little. You're going to pull yeah, so, so little. In theory, this is great, but the issue becomes when they short print all of the good shit. So I you buy a case tactics. and you get fuck all. You remember and the, the other issue is too, if they are short printing these cards because of the amount of good stuff in there even if you do pull good stuff it'll be like one or two and it'll be like probably the lower scale of the good stuff one bell wow so if i get one bell from my case i'm gonna cry <laughs> so my suggestion would be to buy the singles because from what i see the prices that the singles are going for are pretty reasonable if you What's can find someone that still has them you know? um i think 50 or 60 i saw that's, 40. Really good. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to buy a case just for the fact that I want pull all stuff. Yeah, yeah it's hard when you get no sleep, right? Let me uh, the triple tactics, storm, all that, the fucking I mean, that tin, the pull rates were just egregious. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it was It was awful. just, it was just awful. Like, the, right? cr the cross out thing was probably the thing that was most the, like, the biggest thing that was the issue for me. One, it was, what, $110, $120 a copy. Yep. Two, if you weren't first and <coughs> best dressed on the order that first came out, you had to wait six months for the second wave. Is yeah. the wave still still a thing? It's not a thing anymore, right? Yeah, it's not a thing. It is still a thing. Can we just it's like so uh, delete all of those sites, please? I just don't want to deal with them. Enter code dollar fiber checkout. Oh, except uh, ones that you can enter code dollar fiber checkout. Um, is that your next hat? Just null and five at checkout, and when you went, you're like black, red, yeah, enter code null and five at checkout. Uh, In what? <laughs> uh, there are a couple of YouTubers that have got their Fortnite uh, prep, uh, a user code in it, bro. I I found out recently uh, it got leaked. What like they made off that? Oh, it's a wrap. Yeah, hopefully Ben's on that kind of money. Nikijo needs to give him more. Ben, you just need to start coaching. Oh yeah, plugs. Ben coaching? Let's go. 
Not DD Birds, birds. Yeah, five. Yeah, it's a good DG Birds in five. Uh, I'm just curating some questions. Metavi. I think it's worth What it. did we ask for last time? We need a normal local check out code. Uh, yeah, yeah, we asked about boat. local Clydes. Okay, oh, let's, all right, do you want to talk about Clydes? No. Oh, Clyde. Yeah, we want to talk yeah, about yeah, Clydes. Yeah, yeah, we've got to talk, talk about, about the Clydes. Clydes around our locals. But yeah. first, there's a couple Who's other questions Clydes? that we have to sh- get to from our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions such as 6i6, his first question this week. Uh, why does Nolan TCG not put his cards in the correct zone? <laughs> True. That's why he didn't get featured. He was asking for a feature match, didn't put him on. I didn't want to risk it. He doesn't have the voice to debate either, so this is perfect timing. What, where do you put your zones? It, like every good player. <laughs> Deck, Deck? Yeah. Graveyard. Yeah. Banish. Yeah. Texture. Sure. Or Banish. That's not wrong. You're wrong. I mean, if he goes to stream, he'll be told to no. it. Yeah, too fair. Fuckers. My initial response was... Why? You didn't give me a map zone. Then they decided, alright, here are paper cutouts of things that say crazy on deck. And they're like, you're going to put these here? No, I'm not. I, just, I don't think I did it once. No. I just told them from now on. Which also gave me a lot more confidence. So I was able to be like, the shortest thing of like, someone put their deck in, I'm like, this deck. Yeah, I mean, you're like, cool. Assert dominance early. Yeah, it was pretty um, much that. So, yeah, th- there's your answer for that. So, why, so <laughs> when we get to locals this week, and I tell you to move your deck, that's why. Move your deck. No. Nah. Why it's his stream silent? setup. It's why his stream silent? setup. Yeah. So he can decide where the zones are. Yeah. So. Deck. Banish Gregon. Uh, next Banish question uh, is also from 6 i 6 uh, about. Oh, no, 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 no. People that go deck, banish graveyard. They should be shot. Bin. They should not be allowed to play here. Bin. Yeah. Bin. It really depends on what deck I'm playing. Whether I'm uh, playing banish. Deck graveyard. <laughs> if I was playing like Grand Maju. Best believe I put like my back. They need here. to be separate. If you're banished and graveyard get mixed together. Oh, oh, what about this, right? Deck, banish, and grave, but you put the banished cards this way and the grave ones on top of it. Someone yeah, did that on stream. Oh. They ended up having one of their graveyard cards, like, their banished cards like that. And I was like, is that banished or grave? He's like, banished. So I was like, move it. And he's like, oh. So I'm shut like, up. Why don't you stop being an idiot? Anyway. What's the second question? This is why there's a uniform way of doing it, so that you don't have people Jake, going, Jake, oh, Jake, Spanish lives in my no. top left pocket. <laughs> Jake loves his little traditional way, because he's old and loves old things. The future <laughs> is now, mate. Alright, you put your deck here, your graveyard here, you shut up, also, you get used to it. Do you want to know why- You're employed by Konami, you moron. No, not really. Jake, that's not really. what removed from the game means. You put it in your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Also, Jake, if, watch if you watch the show? No, I watched Blake on New Year's. He what? removed lots of cards from the I game did. and they went off the fucking I balcony. Did. Also, you put the graveyard here. No, Logan. Mega <laughs> speed duels, you Logan, <laughs> Logan, you put your graveyard here and your deck here so you can cover your graveyard from your opponent. That's why. Brian, to your element format, your deck ends up like this big and your graveyard looks like this big. You yeah. hide nothing. The graveyard is the deck. Also, <laughs> what was your second question? Second question from 6 out 6 is... What do you think is the best way to minimise swearing from Clyde around young local players? Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, he um, feels like a wet sock if he brings it up. Uh, they've got about two regular and uh, maybe another three to five that show up uh, specifically. Um, I think he's either talking about the uh, sweary Clydes or the children. It's seeing just though, one of those seeing things in response, to... I swore I'm not going to answer this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things you have to be in that mindset of like, I'm in a place now where I really shouldn't swear. The occasional ones will slip out. I am guilty of this. Um, I'm pretty sure... Essentially, yes. I'm pretty sure one of the last times that there were, like, quite young people in there, um, I let the C word slip as, like, <laughs> as a reaction. That's and I James t- says hello. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who is this man? And I turned around and I saw the mother out of the corner of my eye and I was like, Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> The C word is Clyde, um, for anybody wondering. Is this how you have to talk the entire time? Yes. Just like, old man say no. <laughs> Who is older, Jake or the mother? <laughs> Jake. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Is, is sorry, it sorry, funny one, if one you second. Have to hold how, one how second, one, 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 one second, one second. Peanut gallery. Who's older, Jake or Soldier Boy? We've no way! This. Are you older than Soldier Boy? <laughs> <laughs> if you're here on YouTube, type in the comments. Am I older than Soldier Boy. Boy? You're bringing up a lot of shit for someone who has stuff on the editing floor that could ruin his life. Yeah, that's fair too. Nah, nothing can ruin my life. It's already ruined. Yeah, that's fair. Like, yeah, shoot no, myself every day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so lucky that Dan does this podcast. Anyway. 
Anywho, uh, so uh, we didn't really answer that question, but just tell them to shut up. But if they don't, just uh, address the situation. Yeah, it's the best thing to do. Just address it head on and be like, "Hey, man, we have a lot of younger people coming. We're trying to develop that scene. Can you please avoid swearing?" Do it in front of other people so they feel embarrassed. Swearing is not caring. Yep. That's why I swear so much. Uh, next we have. See what is uh, I can't even read what this dude's name is. Uh, notoriously Cly. Oh no. <laughs> uh, That's he, us. <laughs> he says, uh, Clyde to my locals plays a mediocre deck. Once they realise they can't win, they start playing slower and slower, hoping to stretch out time and force a draw. How do you encourage and enforce proper pace of play, other than calling a judge? Okay. Who's talking about Seb at locals? <laughs> why, are we, why are we taking blind shots at Seb? Shut the fuck know. up. First point. I'm right. going to rag and so, the locals. Are we assuming that there's no judge actively yeah. at their locals? There's all no, locals, right? It's a local so, I would say no judge. your only situation you can do, or the only thing you can do, <laughs> is to call them out in such a fashion that other people hear it. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You need to be like, can you please hurry up, man? Can you please speed it up and make sure other people hear it? Because it will create an impression on that person, hopefully, that they will be shamed by other people. Yes, shame is a powerful tool. I will also say the nicer way I've just dealt with saying it is just, can you maintain pace of play? And just do that respectfully. And if they don't understand respectfully what you're asking them to do, because there have been times where I'm sure we've all played a little bit slow and then gone, oh, fuck, yeah. All right, let me let me go. Um, but just say that, mm-hmm. ask that nicely. And then if they don't, then be like, but it's it's fuck I'm playing really slow here I need to hurry up I can make me seem like <laughs> okay Ooh, okay okay we're good legitimately that I did do that at one point at Oceanics where I was like fuck I'm taking a, a sweet time here to figure out my combo uh, I'll do it mine. <laughs> 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 you know what I'll think about this <laughs> I think about this in my next turn which is in 20 seconds <laughs> I'll come back to this okay <laughs> To put a pin in this for about 20 seconds. Oh, it's my turn again. Cool. I was literally sitting on my hand and I was like, you know, I can like try and do full combo through hand traps. I can maybe Zeus's board. So I've been thinking about this for like 45 seconds. Mr. Mike. There was a game on the stream where someone had like gotten Mystic Mind and resolved against them. And I generally was sitting there going, I, I swear this person's going to go for like for the next 35 minutes just drawing and passing to hope he draws it out. And I was fearful of that situation. So, at least that's the positive of Misty Mind being in the format, is that people have learned to just scoop it up. Yeah, it just... You uh, don't, I don't, don't I, have any out, you don't check for your out. Yeah. Scoop. Yeah. Yeah, I think at some points, like, people are like, oh, <coughs> maybe they'll just start playing cards now that they've got the resources. No, and they're not. Especially scoop. when you mill three Cosmic Cyclone. Yeah. Yeah, he was very lucky. Uh... Uh, next question comes from uh, Myra Mira. I'm done. I'm Mira. Sure. Mira. Uh, have you what? Read the full I username. Say, I say Myra heaps because yeah. I used to say Myra heaps. I used to say Myra. Myra. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just used to like. You know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, have you watched much of the anime? If so, subs or dubs? I finished Arc V, and they actually play Yu Gi Oh kind of wild. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a I'm a dub first gamer. I'm a dub. First, gamer. first season dub, latest seasons sub. First three, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX 5Ds, I dubbed. But then once I heard oh. Zexel's dub, I was like, sub. sub. And I've never gone back. I've only ever watched them dub. Except for the, like, um, non-English released GX final series. I've yeah. watched that sub. Yeah. I will yeah, say... Which is the only way because you can watch it. Because it's the only way you can. <laughs> Watching sub <laughs> makes you a better Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Yeah. What? Because you're actively paying attention at all times and you see the shitty interactions they do. And you have to learn to read, which we don't do. I I will say, I think, like, the problem also is that the dub comes out, like, so much later, that, like, we're in the new... We're playing a format that's now in the new anime that's in Japan. So, like, when Lynx came out in Japan, we had started to get them in Australia. By the time the dub had come out, we had almost, like, and dub was going into, like, it's a good part. We were in Master Rule 5, and I had stopped caring about the, the anime. Are you looking at the camera? What are you looking at? I'm looking at Bragg, actually. Yeah, time. that's what I was... I just realised half I through I got, that. I got lost You're in his eyes. You're just looking into the abyss. <laughs> I got lost in his eyes. I mean, I Jake a moment. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was trying to work out what his next hair colour is going to be. Yeah, us, mm. us dyed hair boys got to stick together. Great. Anyway, hi, camera. How are you? How have you been today? Dyed. I haven't seen you. 
Anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah, the only ones I've watched are really season one, bits and pieces of season two, and I started trying to watch Frames, whatever that one is. The, the newest one? Yeah, the link <coughs> one. Yeah. Right. Um, they only have season one on uh, Amazon, but it is like the closest that the anime's come that I've ever seen that they've ever played the actual yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Other than the Duel Link setup for some of the duels they do. That's weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fair. It's a speed duel. Duel speed. Duel speed. Duel speed. Uh, Copy. next question comes to us from Raigai. Sup, boy. You, this one could be a long one. What do you think are your strongest and weakest aspects as a player? You guys can go first. I know. <laughs> I'm really good at sticking on a deck for nine months until I'm really good at it. Same. Yeah, 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 exactly right. Like, I just stick to something until I'm I'm good at it, and then I just play that. Wait, can we do this a different way? Can we answer someone up what we think someone else's best and worst are? I feel yeah. like that's a terrible idea. No, it's not. Ready? Uh, you will look at a fucking Excel spreadsheet or a word sheet until you know a combo off by heart, but then go to the event and fuck it. But you will know the but you will know the combo better than anybody. I was gonna say something different. This is just turning into a roast. <laughs> no, <laughs> but he's, he's almost right. I yeah. was gonna say my best quality is like I can see a like a connection between a card and go, there's a combo here. Yeah. Like there's a way to break this. But then I'll like and I'll like know You that, get lost in the source, I'll get, I get lost in the source. And that will lead to me bubbling at a yes. Okay. Um because like ABC. Yeah, lost, lost in the, the source of, lost of, of the making source. that beast to beat Melfo. Get so caught up in that that I just bubbled on the ball. Uh, 2020, best best combo deck of the format in my hands that no one else is playing. Go to cricket. Yeah. I get there and then kill myself. Yeah. I uh, my worst one is not getting the best deck at the time. I really need to do that and stop like playing a bad deck. I like. Yo, you, you know what your I worst one is? Yeah. You you don't care. Yeah, unfortunately. I care, I care sometimes. Which is what had become a me after 2018. Yeah, that's the, fair. The biggest thing about you not caring, though, is that there's not enough incentive. Because you have played all of the games, Yeah, it is a case of, like, which one is my best value of time and money. The, uh, the only thing about that, though, with Yu-Gi-Oh!, which keeps, is, like, Lewis and um, myself and Kevin grinding Pokemon is... Yes, the money is cool, but, like... But sitting down with Lewis and Kev and having a big grind that's sick uh, similar to when we do like big YCS testing that's fucking awesome that will be my incentive to, to play the event because you get to do else. like all the all the testing with, with the boys yeah. most of the time the event is like a side a, a side Japan's thing of the actual things um Japan I suppose I can get on to mine um so yeah mine is the same I'm same quite happy to sit there and play a deck this could be positive or negative but like I'll happily play a deck learn lines diversify make that deck as good as it can be for whatever format it is despite how garbage it is um I think one of my biggest things Metaphors. is like I oh, yeah pretty much my biggest downfall is that I only play decks I like I don't play best decks of the format unless it also happens to fall into the vein of I like this mechanic tier element is like a prime example of that. I've just liked Tier Elements since it got announced. You haven't announced. shut the fuck it up just, about it. Yeah, which I literally haven't. Yeah. But, and the only reason I'm playing is because I like it. it and I I was going off the OCG roadmap of like, this is not going to be the best deck of the format, but it'll be a nice second contender. And then the TCG came in and fucked <laughs> it up. And we're like, we're going to put dangers in it. Um, and, and I now suddenly love that deck. deck. <laughs> when it was a control Tier Element deck, I thought it was crap. When it became mill your deck and play combo? <sighs> He tried oh. so hard to put Yazi in that deck. I still am. He wants to put Ferret in that's the deck. His, is what he wants that's to his do. biggest weakness. Is <laughs> there is there is like a list going around. No, no. no. It's he's good. lost in the source. <laughs> <It's pretty good>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever play another YCS if I judge. <laughs> so my, I don't know what my biggest positive is. My you have biggest... a YouTube channel that subs. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you have clout. My biggest weakness is that I will just. There'll be key interactions. I'll just tune out. And I'll just switch my brain off. Yeah. And then I've missed it and I've lost. That has happened to you a couple of times. I'd say one of your biggest more. strengths is that you have photographic memory. You see, I don't focus enough though. See, if you did, th if you did though, you could be <coughs> the 
ridiculously good. Yeah. Like not only are just memorizing what your own shit does, but like effectively employing a card counting strategy against yeah. your opponent. I could definitely just figure out the 40 cards that are in my opponent's list. Yeah, so instead of just ruining every game of Secret Hit that we play, you could also just be winning everything. <laughs> I could. I also could just, despite the fact that my opponent's cards are not marked, I could figure out what cards are what. Yeah. Just from the fact that there are slight changes in the back of their sleeves, I can remember. Exactly, it, a no. slight dent in the corner, a little pop here but and there. But Ben wouldn't do at that because at, he doesn't cheat. At, at, it's not no, cheating. My opponent's stuff, at which point I'd call Judge and be like, that card's marked. <laughs> and they'll be like, but it's not marked, I'll be like, it is. Game one, I saw it. It so, was marked like this. Game three, here we are. You have it in your hand right now. So, rather than doing the shark thing, yeah. I reckon you employ a different strategy of Stingray and use that knowledge to your advantage rather gonna... than just going, Jake! There is, Jake, yes. there is a reason I put shit on you constantly for not changing your sleeves. I change my sleeves constantly so I don't memorize the cards that are in my deck. I go out of my way to ensure that I don't know what is what. If a card gets the slightest ding, whole deck gets a sleeve change. Good man. Yeah. I do the same. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Oh. Oh. Talk about sleeves for a quick second. Sure. The <laughs> stores. Yeah, vendors at WCQ. Fucking amazing. They were phenomenal. Oh, yeah? Really They were really good. good. Did you have, buy 18 pairs <coughs> of KMCs? Yeah. Yeah, no, pretty I, much. I bought a bunch of Dragon Shield. Yeah, I think you, you got more than me. I got four packs. Yeah, they were doing three NZ, uh, three for $30 NZ. Yeah. So, like, 27 bucks for three packs of Dragon Shield. Nice. Really good deal. And then also doing, like, the over sleeves with the borders for, like, 10 bucks. Three for 30. Um, hollow, like, foil sleeving for $8. Nice. Um, Dex binders for like 35 40 bucks hell yeah like it was amazing any good singles yeah. um yeah uh, Jesse, yeah Jesse, Jesse good. got a stop light oh no, I, for no, some no, reason I thought you were talking about um uh, there's so many words redhead Jesse <coughs> no bald Jesse our Jesse oh, our Jesse oh. yeah did you like what, Jesse. buy his stuff yeah I was about to say come Jesse <laughs> <laughs> children um, absolute children anyway yeah. uh, next question comes to us from one of our new uh, we members. like new people here we are very inclusive and fun Their type in the comment I am new here yeah we don't need to we have a welcome channel um, <laughs> no I need you it's getting the content anyway right. we are... comes from subjective if you're uh, still here at this timestamp in the YouTube video can you type come Jesse in the comments <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's gonna, it's <laughs> hi I'm new here also come Jesse what, uh, what? come Jesse it'll get auto filtered out oh no right no, come, come right, right come as in C-O-M-E yeah we'll know what you meant yeah <laughs> With <all the> anyway <laughs> yeah <laughs> this question comes from, from subjective uh, practice makes perfect is an old adage, but particularly in the uh, decision-heavy game like Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you have any tips slash methods of practicing? Are there things to do to learn general <laughs> skills? Are there things to do to learn how to play specific decks? What we just said. <laughs> Don't necessarily play with your friends. No. But use other methods of playing with your friends. If you're willing to, if you're willing to learn like simple one card, two card lines, literally just write down the steps and just learn those steps back in the day we had ABC combo which was two down. card combos like five Just different versions down. of it down. we wrote down a like two page ten page like spreadsheet and we just read the spreadsheet the and just told us every line the thing you don't ever want to try and work out in your brain when you go to an event is what you're doing on turn yes. your turn one now on your turn one you want to fucking play as well as you can uh, any hand trap fuck you know what you're playing through that's it done now this is a problem of, of current meta like with tier element especially the danger build is that it is like you have 50 different process lines depending on what your RNG mills are even at that point if you're not getting hand trapped you're still gonna end on the same board and you should at least know your deck good enough to know how to get to the line anyway so you need to just, in those sort of decks, sit down, play a test hand out with no hand traps against you, and just learn nine times out of ten, you see a hand and you go, this can get to this because of this line, regardless of the mills. Yeah. The mills are then extra benefits, and that's like your extra like a minute and a half. But learning your lines and versing people that you don't understand already, because you're not going to understand your opponent. 
I can't sit down against Ben and play every match I chest against Ben. Because I'll eventually know how Ben plays and subconsciously, because I just want to win, play to beat Ben, not play to learn. That's why I think that testing against your friends is better. Is better? Yes, testing against your friends. Yeah. Because you're... I'm saying it's not. Always. I'm saying it's not. I believe you both agree. Yeah, we agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys Maybe agree. I'm not hearing you because of the voice, but I have to No, 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 no. It's yeah, better. Yes. I'm talking um, about testing with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> Can you put the the, the uh, solid snake fucking question mark above all of that? <laughs> <laughs> We're all fucking wrong. We're all confused. What's wrong with testing with your friends? Nothing, but... Nothing. Oh, he's making a dueling book reference. Uh, We've all missed it. I'm We've all missed it. it. I didn't mention anything like that. I wasn't talking about testing with your friends. I'm a Konami employee, apparently. Do you not so enjoy I can't testing with your friends? That sounds sexual. I'm not answering this. What? Why are you making it sexual? No one took it there. What the fuck is wrong with you? I am a Konami judge. I don't want to talk about right. testing with friends. Um, anyway, but yeah. Um, knowing what your end board is supposed to look like is critical. Um, basically... Like Logan said, you work out um, like test hands, all that kind of thing. Playing against people that you don't normally play against, so that it's not a case of oh, I know exactly what he's playing. I know what the end board should be for this deck. Working out a generic end board for pieces that you have for whatever situation. Um, the difficult thing when I was uh, playing a lot is that a lot of my decks uh, were going second. In which case, it is a case that you just have to test against different matchups. To work out exactly what oh, uh, sort of lines you need to play against specific decks. Like I was going to say order where, exactly play. where to hand trap certain decks as well. well yeah, so, the yeah. choke points of certain decks yeah. is a critical one to learn for each matter. Look, as the only person on this podcast with a premier top, what you just what? your only yes is count, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, I know. But um, what's wait. the premier? Regional premier? No, no. Oh. As as the person with the only premier top on this count, uh, let me tell you. You just want to learn the one combo that just auto wins you the game. Find the draw reincarnation of your deck and just be good enough to draw that for 10 rounds. Yeah, for, true. For me, it was summon Protoss. Activate Protoss. See? Yeah. What was yours? Flip Skill Drain and Clifford. Yeah, yeah, Flip Skill Drain. What was yours? Flip Quaking. No, and actually. actually, actually, actually <laughs> he only did it once though, so not good enough. Activate Carter Demise. <laughs> activate Carter Demise. True. See? Find your one yeah. and just. Be bad enough than your opponent that you'll see it for ten rounds, so and then lose top three. Jake, when you're working out, right? Oh, you know, I have go. I have uh, Bell, Effect Veiler, uh, Didi Crow, Ash. Where do I? No, I'll just drop uh, <coughs> fucking shifty in your standby. Yeah. Face. Sorry. Yeah, there you go. See, you found your one. Also, yeah. don't be a clicky Can button moron in real life. <laughs> what are you doing? Do not see a point to hand trap and immediately think that that's the point to hand trap. Think about choke points. Think about availability of cards as to where cards should be dropped. Don't drop the first hand trap you see on the first thing you see. That's what I do against decks I've never played against before. If, so, like, when a deck will come out, I'll go Ash on the just the first thing, and I go, oh, oh what you, did they play? Are you both cosplaying Logan? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing you gotta learn how to do. That teaches you how to be an like asshole getting your friend's skin. The best thing I saw on stream. When some guy was comboing, and the other guy just started having a conversation, it was like, "Oh, you know, it's been a really good good event." Hey, this guy's trying to do his combo, and he's genuinely getting mixed up because he's trying to hold the conversation. This guy completely got him. <laughs> yeah, kill him with kindness. Anything else? That concludes us for this evening. If there's anything else, we may as well fucking do it. Uh, yeah, that concludes us for this evening. Thank you all very much for watching and listening. Uh, as I said, feel free to jump into our Discord and ask us some questions <coughs> for next week. Otherwise, we will catch you later. Uh, Nolan TCG5 for coaching. <laughs>